Rockstar Guide to the Galaxy. Live from the gutter, Aaron LeCrate. Baltimore, Maryland, this is where it's at. What's up? This is Aaron LeCrate live from my hometown of Baltimore at the Inner Harbor today. I'm going to show you some of my favorite spots. I hope they're still there because this city just keeps on changing on me. Peace. Be more city. Baltimore is known for its club music, its steamed crabs, and its cold people, all of which we're going to see in the next few days. Join me. Yes, this is Aaron LeCrate on Sunday and Saturday mornings in Baltimore. This is where I'm at. North Point Flea Market, you can find all the good things out here. Sneakers, bootleg sneakers, records, swords, and um, old cereal, and, and uh, old, old produce and things that you don't want to eat but are fun to look at. Let's go take a look. These are the type of good finds you can get at the flea market. You can get like Cosmic Catnip or Top Pop sodas uh, for $7 a case. The one thing I always enjoy about coming out, I always run in a blast from the past, somebody I haven't seen in ages. It's usually somebody I've been trying to avoid. But sometimes you just can't do that anymore. And this is a prime example, my man right here. This is completely spur of the moment. Tony D. Tony D. Baltimore OG right here from back in the day. Haven't seen you in how long, Tony? I've seen this guy in 15 years. Used to buy skateboards in my basement? Frankie skates. And then what about my, my DJ game back in the day? House partying. House party king. From age 11 on up. Crave, crave, exactly. waiting for the crate. Exactly. That's the way it Keeping goes. It straight. Tony, did you kick a verse? You got a verse for us? Tony Capone verse? Crystal cut like the purest time, but right now I'm still rough, I'm still in the mind. Wait, wait till I break through and shine like any crystal cut, the beer's quality dime. Words from a prophet. Words from a prophet. It's good? I think I might pick these up if they fit me. These are Starburries. We have that fresh, fresh new, forget Nike and Adidas. This is it. Starbury. Inside it gets even more strange. You gonna take a quick peek? I'm gonna show you some of my favorite stalls in here. This is a nice shot here. Look, this is what I'm talking about. When I was a kid, you come out here, spend the whole day. All sorts of records. I got a lot of my record collection out here at the North Point Flea Market. Dollar records, everything you need. You can sit here, look, you get. What is this? It's classic, classic material. I didn't even have to spend much time looking for this right here. Kids don't know anymore. This is where all the records are at. I think my buddy's gone. He used to be right here. This is one of my favorite things by all means. I took a photo of this. I have it blown up. I mean, look at that. Isn't that just cool as hell the way they did that? Did you like this stuff when you were a kid? No, I like it more now. This is a cool spot here. You get like old surplus stuff. So they have some really nice, um, affordable surplus jackets that you don't see everywhere. You don't see them in every spot. But my buddy's gone, I'm really disturbed. JR's treasures is gone. Where did he go? All right, we are here live in the flesh with someone that's very dear to me, my man, DJ Equalizer, who we go way back, way, way, way back. Way back. And um, I mean, Bob was one of the people I would check in with every Saturday or so at the record store and he'd be in there mixing up all the latest and greatest hits with a cigarette hanging out of his mouth, ash going on the record. I didn't really realize how young he was, but he was about this tall when he started coming to that store. He was doing all these house parties and stuff, which a lot of young DJs were doing. I think I gave him his first big gig at the Mayfest. He used to do these big festivals, and I'm talking, there was thousands and thousands of people there. And he came up to like say hello, and I was like, get on. He's like, no, I don't think so. Man, get on there. Just do it. And he got on there and started tearing it up. Bob has been like a mentor to me, and just how he sort of, he's basically the guy who created and started Baltimore club music, little known fact. There was a big void. You know, you only had a couple record stores. You, you couldn't get shit if you were a DJ, pardon the French. So, you know, I basically figured you had to sit there, put the equipment, the music, the works together. You know, make it a cool place you can come hang out, get some culture, 
uh, meet with other people, match minds. Then I dropped that uh, white record out. It's got the Mama Cosa loop on it too. And what's that new song that's out? It's a hit. Yeah, now? Rihanna. That, that had the original Mama Cosa. It had that loop on there, 1989. And that's why I started the whole Beats Break Some Bullshit. Yeah. Just to give people some source material, inspire them, get them to work. Can't tell you how many times that whole series has been used, even up to this day. Yeah. The funny thing about Bob is like, you know, he just one day kind of in my life vanished. Like no one knew what happened to him. People thought he was dead. There was there was rumors that he had died. There yeah. was rumors that he was in the West Coast. It's a very mysterious cult like figure in this city. He just sort of started all this, took it over, took it to this level and then vanished kind of. That was my my perception of it. Well, Las Vegas and Southern California was very good to me, so <laughs> Some of the busiest this is like a graffiti hall of fame spot in Baltimore. They have pit bull fights underneath here. It's kind of famous for that. Whereas a little kid, I used to come. I did my first piece over here on this wall, actually. It's gone. It's 1988. It's just a few people come under here to do a few bits and pieces it's right up the street from where I grew up. And we're just going to do a little hello, let people know that I was here. I don't want to go over anybody. I don't want to cap anybody. I don't need that type of beef in my life. Plus. Some of the busiest rhymes ever made by man Are going into this mic written by this hand Are coming out of this mouth made by this tongue I tell you now my man, my name is Young But so you think that it's your destiny to get the best of me But I suggest to be quiet, but don't even try From the east to west of me Taking it and never breaking it, or even shaking it Grooving it's it my idea, fun